What's up guys? So I ended up going with the Aero Catch hood pins. I didn't go with the uh, lock one this time to save me time. Uh, I think eventually I'll probably go with the lock, but this is just for a quick install. Uh, I'm also waiting on my hood risers. that should be here today or tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, so. So guys, here's underneath the hood. I'll have to figure out where that hole goes for that uh, hood latch. But the goal is to cut like a square out through here to fit the uh, motor in here. <clears throat> the 1UZ. Uh, what I'm trying to fit in is this part and the intake. Because when the hood goes down, it lays on this and this. So It's a huge chunk I got to take out. But I mean, the car is, you know, drift missile. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't think, you know, I'm going to be a lot of highway driving or anything. I don't think it'll flop because I'm not taking it all out, but who knows. But it's going to be down with hood pins, arrow catch. So let's get the cutting. So guys, this is the hole that I cut out. I'm going to take some sandpaper, sand all around there. Hopefully this will work. If not, I got little spacers I can run, which I don't really, I was trying to stay away from the spacers. I don't really like that look, but I really like this hood. So if it works out, we'll see where it goes. I end up buying a new latch. Don't know which one it is. I also have hood risers in here as well. I think this is the hood risers. Well, so guys, I am almost there. Um, a little bit more fitment to get this to go down. It looks like I'll have to loosen it up and move the hood this way. It's hidden here. And I have a gap here. Yeah. So I'll have to loosen it and pull the hood this way. Um, this side's still up a little bit, but I found out that it's still slightly hitting the motor. I tried to put those spacers on, it didn't really work. So either I'm gonna have to find a little bit bigger spacer or I'm gonna have to put those one inch spacers I bought that I'm still waiting for in the mail, which kind of sucks. For future reference, these style do not work. Alright, so these should work. Um, I already did the measurements. They are the exact same uh, thread pattern that I need. I'm going to use these for my hood risers and hopefully these things fit. They're skunk too. Got them off eBay for like $10. Took like two weeks to get here. shampooed and cleaned off it does have a little bit of fade over here i might try to fix that with some dye just gonna clean them first see how they look put them in the car but let's get to installing these hood, hood risers everybody is curious on what i did cut it with i cut it with this dewalt saws on uh, so i done got one side installed um i do have to play around with it to make sure this hood's going to go down perfect along with these uh fender lines Sorry that the bay's all messy. I was trying to fix some fiberglass out of the hood, but it fell in, so I'm just gonna use a blower for the all the fiberglass. This is how it looks. All right, guys, so I got it in both sides of the, uh, the hood spacers. The hood actually fits a lot better now. I still gotta find out something that's on this side that's like kind of keeps the hood from going down, but I can pull it down if I use uh, my hood pins, which I just started drilling on. Um, I kind of missed the hole at first, but my luck, it's a bigger space that needs to be done. So about right here. So I'm pretty much set on that hole. They kind of messed up. <laughs> Let me make sure it's gonna go this way. Yep, I'm good. So what I'm gonna do for the other side, I'm gonna feel where that hole's supposed to go. Do the exact same thing I just did on this side. Then I'm gonna tape it all down and then start cutting. See how that goes. First, I want to show you guys, I'm not a big fan of hood risers, but I mean, hey, it works. I can't, com I can't complain. The body lines is perfect. Um, this side, it does lift up a little bit, but it's because I got something still here in the way. As you can see, I mean, the hood pin should bring it down like that, and that should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, it's the hood risers. So I'm trying to line up the way the 
pins are supposed to go on so I know where to put the head latch. Just a straight line. Looks kind of off, but I'm not exactly sure. I think my hole is off. I need to go left a little bit. There it is. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this thing up. I'm gonna try to find out where this is supposed to go. Then I'm going to outline underneath all around it. So, and then whatever I outline, I'm gonna cut on the outside of that line or on the line. And that's how I'm going to make sure that's the way that they're supposed to go on. Let me just go ahead and do this other side too so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Make sure that the line fits. I'm gonna match this line up with the black line that I have. So, so it should sit there and there. Bam. Put my knee here. I'm gonna come this way. All right. Step back. Look at them both. Make sure they're both fine. Then what I'm gonna do is I know these are gonna come off like this, but I think I need the actual big piece first. See, my plan is to pop this thing up. Oh, give me one second. I would show you guys my cutting process and everything, but the problem is I don't have a stand for my phone right now, or I don't have a camera for a stand. So I kind of just gotta do it and show you guys after I do it, which all I'm literally gonna do is probably take this saws all here, I'm gonna cut a straight line here, a straight line here, and then I'll probably get out a Dremel or something and cut around the lines here. And then that'll pop through. I'm gonna stick this thing through, make sure it latches. When it does, I'm gonna find out the holes. I'm gonna drill a hole through the holes to make sure it stays. Go on the bottom side, put that little plate on, and then I'm gonna put the screws in and it should uh, keep the whole hood latched. So that's my process. So sides one's finished, it's latched. I drilled the holes in here. Uh, time for the other one. And by the way, guys, make sure you wear, uh, make sure you guys wear gloves. <laughs> I kind of stabbed myself with the drill, like an idiot. All right, guys, uh, on to the next one. So before I install my other one, I just want to go ahead and say that I installed this one already. I said, why not? Um, I'll have to clean off this car later on. <laughs> There's probably a better way to do it. I usually keep the whole engine covered, which I did with cardboard, and then I just push it on the floor. I'm gonna sweep it all up with my hand. I'm just gonna do the other one. Hopefully, it just kind of they come out perfect. And this is very scary to do because you know it's only a one-time chance. Also, I know I need to clean out my car, but there's the seat rails, so they're gonna fit in perfect with these seats. I just gotta get them uh, cleaned up, like I said. Okay, let's get down to doing the last one so I can go in and relax. I can't even feel my toes out here in the cold. I'm trying to use this heater, but I need to get me a propane one or the uh, the big jet heaters. It's a big garage for a little tiny heater, so. All right, guys, so there's the hood installed for the Kuki. Um, there's the air latches, and I think it only took me like, you know, about an hour and 30 minutes or so for the hood and the hood risers and the uh, hood latches themselves. Oh, this is the end result, guys. There's a small, small gap, which I mean, it is a Duraflex. I've seen worse. But I mean, I've tried to make this hood fit as the best as I could, guys. and. Honestly, I love it. Uh, maybe one day I'll go with the carbon fiber one. Uh, and I, I just, I'm not a big fan of carbon fiber hoods, so I'll probably have to wrap it or something. But the whole car is gonna get wrapped. So, I'm sorry if it sounds like I got a mask on, because I do have a mask. It's just cold in here, so I'm trying to keep myself warm. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't really like the hood risers, but I mean, I guess it's not bad. The only reason I installed these was because the uh, hood was hitting the one UZ in the car. So it made it a little bit harder. This is the end result of my hood installation. 
for anybody who was kind of curious to see how it ended up looking like. Um, I do need to get a bracket. This headlight lifted up a little bit, it's missing the bracket here. But yeah, I mean, it's getting there. I can't wait to get these things shampooed and put in the car. And then the whole car is going to be wrapped uh, baby blue or turquoise blue or something like that. It's, it's going to be pretty cool. It's like the Subaru STI blue. And I'm going to do the top. I don't know if I've told you guys. I'm going to do the top from here and back there on that body line. I'm going to do all black on top. So it's going to be black gloss with the blue. And then the wheels either stay white or they're going to go with like a lime green. Or I'm going to do... Um, this uh, black center is with chrome bases. I don't know exactly yet, but I'm gonna get some Cosmos at some point, but I need you guys to help me. <laughs> if you guys can start watching my videos and stuff, you know, that would really help me. Give me a shout out, subscribe or something, you know, follow. Um, help me get my build done. Yeah, coming a long way within such a short time. I've also got, um, what's called window visors over there on that shelf i really need to clean up my garage but i need to get all this out first <laughs> yeah uh, tell me what you guys think it's the end result